All right. We have an hour to sunset. I'm going to keep it really raw with y'all. I just went to Michael's and I got myself some new notepads because you know what we're jumping in today? We are jumping into portraits. Let's get it. So I just got to like rearrange my studio real quick because I'm going to turn this little area into my sketching area. This actually is a drawing table, but this is more where I do my computer work and to lean it up and have all of my stuff fall off, it's not really fun. So we're gonna we're gonna make shift this right now, okay? Let's get into it. The whole reason behind this challenge is to honor noble women in our history. Today we will be talking about Jovita Idar. Some history behind Jovita is that she was born in Loretta, Texas in 1885. She was one of eight children who strove to advance the civil rights of Mexican Americans. Idar earned her teaching certificate in 1903 from the Holding Institute in Loretta. She taught in a school in Los Ojuelas, though the reality of her first teaching was frustrating. She spoke on how there were never enough textbooks for her pupils or enough paper, pens, or pencils. And if all her students came to class, there was never enough chairs or desks for them. The schooling for Chicano students was inadequate. Chicanos paid taxes to support decent schooling for their children, yet they were denied entry to schools. Idar realized that her teaching efforts were making little impact on students due to the ill-equipped segregated schools. So, she turned from teaching to journalism as a means of working towards making a meaningful and effective change. While working at La Cronica, Idar also served as the first president of the League of Mexican Women, also known as La Liga Femenial Mexicanista. It was founded in 1911 in Loreto and offered free education to Mexican children. Additional goals of the organization were to unify the Mexican intellectuals of Texas around the issues of protection of civil rights, bilingual education, the lynching of Mexicans, labor organizing, and women's concerns. Within this league, they worked to transform these injustices into a plan of action and focused on relieving social problems through actively making changes within their communities. Women who participated in this organization were highly influential and developed charitable system for women providing food and clothes to those in need. So yeah, Jovita Idar is a noble woman who paved the way for her community. So let's jump into this challenge and honor Jovita and all of her great accomplishments. Let's check the time. 
Dang, my phone died. Okay, so the last time I looked at it, we were reaching at an hour and a half, y'all. So, I think I did what I could. Um, yeah, this one was... Jumping back into charcoal was pretty crazy, y'all. I definitely had to reconfigure the neck because I was like... 70% in and then I realized she had no chin to work with so I had to reconfigure her neck and her placement I do think that I also made her face a little bit smaller just because there's a side angle and her jaw gets a little lost um, I ended up making some different differentiations throughout different yen <laughs> I had to basically expand her jawline and move to the right but so far I am happy with the lip and her cheekbone she is of Mexican descent so she does have a little bit more um, protruding lips which I think is so beautiful I really enjoyed working on that as well as her hair a lot of it was just taking a small eraser and then removing charcoal from the paper. So again, I really enjoyed this process. It, it this is this is noble women November, y'all. I'm jumping in hot. I have not done charcoal in like a year, so I'm feeling pretty good. I think this is a good start for an hour and a half. So yeah. If you enjoyed this process video, go ahead and give a like and subscribe. Also, if you learned something about Jovita Idar, go ahead and drop it in the comments. She's an incredible woman that has done a lot for Mexican heritage and also for women. So if you enjoy supporting pivotal women, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. All right, y'all, I will see you in the next video and hope you enjoy. Thank you.